there's a class that I teach intro to interactive media um, that I teach as a media studies course. Like this is what this is what interactive media is, and this is how we can be critical of it, and this is how our society is affected by it, stuff like that. Th those types of things, right? Um, and um, when Trump won 2016, the elections in 2016 and everything, uh, and it became clear that fake news um, was an issue mm -hmm. uh, in, for like digital life or social media um, life or whatever, uh, I felt like I needed to include some fake news readings in my syllabus. Um, whereas previously the syllabus was basically like it was pretty scholarly. It was pretty, pretty like um, academic, you know, it was like um, read these people who wrote something 50 years ago about what media is and stuff like that. Right. But um, um, fake news was an issue. And if, and I sort of felt like I needed to include um, readings about fake news. And I already had readings on like violence in video games or like addiction um, with social media and things like that. Um, but then once I added fake news to this syllabus, uh, and it was like, uh, basically responding to just stuff that was happening in the world, um, you know, then every quarter I felt like, well, I, sh I should just continue doing this and re and put readings in that, re that respond to what's been going on in the world. And, um, cause that first quarter it turned out really well like my students were engaged with that, those readings um you know because it was much more contextual to them right much more relevant yeah. to their lives and everything and yeah. so you know and every every quarter it seems like some new thing happened mm -hmm. <laughs> that needed yeah. some response um some some reaction and everything and then when the pandemic happened um things started heightening like getting heightened and everything so now there's like readings on like conspiracy theories about QAnon, um, readings on fake news, readings on, on like surveillance capitalism and like um, algorithmic culture um, and all basically all the stuff that's wrong with social media mm -hmm. and our digital life and everything. And a lot of it boils down to basically capitalism, like um, the, the way that our whole society is structured around capitalism. Um, bleeds into everything else and um, preferences greed over anything else. And so um, once you have that, then you have, you have people basically taking advantage of other people. Um, and the, 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 the set of readings, like every quarter I change it based off of like recent news and everything. So like, you know, next quarter when I teach it, um, I'm going to have to include, start including things about like Ukraine. Cause there, there's like really interesting things in terms of, um, um, the war in Ukraine, because uh, I could I could hit on NFTs, I could hit on cryptocurrency, I could hit on fake news, I could hit on um, um, like security, cybersecurity, and stuff like that. All these things can 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 be around the topic of the war in Ukraine and everything. So I think that's something I'm going to have to do. Um, so that that part of it. The actual readings, I guess, that I've had in, in our class discussions and all that stuff have have changed in the last couple of years. Um, and there's more stuff in there on like mental health now and um, there's more instruction too. There's more like, because uh, I have like teamwork in my classes, like they have to get into teams and work on a project together for a quarter um, in almost all my classes have, have some sort of portal on project um and there's more like like I, i've written better instructions for teamwork or like i've structured certain things to try to support that teamwork better um mm -hmm. in terms of like check in with each other and try to become friends and like um remember that we're all human and be generous with each other and, and that type yeah. of that type of explicit language in in my instructions for them on how to do the teamwork and everything um, and I think that's helped a lot. Um, and people are more, I guess, uh, receptive to that sort of tone and language and I guess in my instructions, because I think more and more students 
have come to realize that, yeah, things are kind of stressful for a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas before, um, you know, a lot, a lot of the criticism that students have of teamwork is like, um, there's these other people who are basically bringing my grade down, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, but that sort of vision or stance or attitude, I guess, towards teamwork um, views teams as this sort of like transaction um, and also views the other team members as, as just these tools, right? Mm -hmm. um, rather than as people. And once you actually treat each other as people, then you realize team, act, an actual good team is one that supports each other and realizes that everyone in the team is a person um, and maybe going through stuff, right? And once you realize that, it, it opens up, you know, teams actually function better when you, when you actually care about each other um, or empathize with each other and everything. So like, so I add that type of, you know, stuff framing, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. to the teamwork and everything.